Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2013. You join me in a top of the table clash with Don Gannon where you have just scored Ray Raymond Wilkinson scoring in the 4th minute here. It's in the 25th minute and uh, normally I start with an update but I, I just started recording right now. I had to play this game and realised I should have played it from the start. But Kingsbury up here on the left. Don Gannon are a really strong strong team, they are running away with this league, but we're at home and 1-0 up here. Kingsbury plays through Moblick, sorry, who's been, just doesn't get the ball into the back of the net past their keeper, he's just back from suspension today, McSorley, cross in, and cleared, McManus has a chance to break, he's got one man up front, he uses it but the pass is behind, and that's the end of the highlight. Into the 26th minute, Woods here with a throw in, Campbell here who's been great for him recently, scored two goals in the last game, long ball to Southam, can he pick out a pass, he does, Raymond Wilkinson's got the pace to run on it, can he finish it, it's too wide, the goalkeeper doing his position work very well there. So this match is pretty much end to end, Spears here just back from injury and Morley Hill and plays a long ball up to Mooney. And now Don Gannon with a chance to build the play and Topley's in the middle of the park. Plays an easy ball through to Bates and it's under the keeper. Morley Hill and maybe should have done better. Bates scores. Well done Mr. Bates. 1-1 one, one here at the Crystal Park. Bam Bridge Town. 40 minutes gone. Slightly edging possession. And half time. You're right, not too, hap not too unhappy with this score at halftime. Why would it be? This is actually a, quite a good, respectable result. Many teams will be playing on Gannon this season and not, not coming away with a point. But I need to think about a change. Kingsbury's fitness isn't great. Simple change. Alright, let's go lads. I'm actually quickly going to tell them to pass two feet because this is our this is our home home pitch, our surface. Granted, it might not be the best, but where is it? Past the feet. Let's go. Make that change for me, computer. Okay. So there we are. Southam looks in pain. That's a bad injury. So unfortunately, that's just right at the start of the second half as well. Bringing on Aaron McKinney, who's actually just played three days ago, um, so his fitness isn't great. Um, he scored his debut goal in the last match, which is great to see. Let's see if we can follow up with a special winner today, but McCair here for Nungannon, out the right. O'Neill with a long shot. Oh, heartbreak hotel. O'Neill finds the net from outside the area, set up and had ever, just had the, all the time in the world to line up a shot. So into the 57th minute here, Gallagher with another throw in from Dungannon, plenty of throw ins here from Dungannon, seems to be how the highlights are going, uh, the winger not getting there, Munster a long ball, Spears intercepting but Manus getting the way again, here they are on the right again, Cobb getting the way, not enough, Topley here with a free chance, and it's three. 3-1 This is nowhere near good enough And it's very very disappointing to see and I want to make a change, but there's very little change I can make um, Cobb is having a bit of a dire game uh, Which is kind of you know most of the goals have been scored from Cobb's defensive possession uh, so He's a great player, but this is a sign of inconsistency, or maybe you just can't handle some of the Dungannon attack, attack to play today. Either way, disappointing. You can see three goals at home and maybe more. Snodden with a long ball up. McSorley's going to get there. Plays it down for McKinney in the new signing. Can he pick out Campbell on the right wing? Campbell, run at them. Use your pace. Isn't enough. Doesn't beat his man, but gets another ball into Garley. Can he play it in or he go himself? It's fumbling around and cleared away. And, uh, you know, Dungannon playing around here, just getting in the way of all their efforts. I'm going to take away the past the feet option. Newbury here, one of the sign-ups. Plays it through to McKinney. Can he find someone? Can he work his way into space? Defensive doing their job. Mulkinson there. McKinney! Yes! McKinney gets a second goal for Banbridge. And Newbury coming up, the substitute. 
uh, you know, showing a good bit of play there. He doesn't get many chances. Now we're back in this game. This is, we got to go for a point here. We must go for it. 70 minutes gone. Not many chances here. Still edging possession, as you can see, in the middle of the park. Oh, in a corner for Dungannon. And there's unmarked. Oh, but Fitzpatrick at the back post with a un unmarked there. Hits it wide. 10 minutes to go here. Looking for an equaliser. Dungannon looking for the put this game beyond doubt. And there's three minutes of injury time. I don't think this... Oh, end of the game. Disappointing defeat here today. But... It's a good run out against a strong Gungannon team. A Gungannon team? And unfortunately in the second half, they had us on the ropes. So, I just want to go and give a summary. 3-2 defeat. Wilkinson McKinney getting in the score sheet, which is nice to see. That leaves us third in the league. After eight games, still pretty good. It's very tight at the top, but as you can see, Dungannon running away with it. And uh, Kelly's got Crystal Park. Who's he looking at? Who's he looking to sign? Looking to sign Dory McSorley. No thanks, you can't have them. Um, in terms of our recent fixtures, since we beat... Who did we last play? Well, let me look at... Uh, yeah, Coke United. We played, we smashed Knock Raider. Stephen Campbell getting two. Johnny McSorley getting two, sent off in the first half for a double book of offence. And uh, Aaron McKinney getting his debut goal, or not his debut, but his first goal for the club. David Hampton coming off the bench to score. What is proved to be an unnecessarily unnecessary equaliser. And uh, here's Don Gannon. You might remember them. So uh, we, we put four past them away from home in Don Gannon. And, uh, you know, McKinney again on the score sheet. Raymond Wilkinson again on the score sheet. Kingsbury, Stephen Campbell. And Kingsbury actually missed a penalty in that, sh that match too. Uh, but that was three days before. And then Wednesday comes along. They visit Crystal Park. And you've just watched that. Disappointing defeat. Next up, we got none other than Lurgan Celtic in the Intermediate Cup. I don't know if you remember our recent Cup final against Lurgan Celtic in the Intermediate Cup. This is the first round. We are out for revenge. I am not having another defeat against Lurgan Celtic. Especially now we're a division above them. And in terms of training, we were focusing attack and movement. That hasn't worked out for me. I'm going back to defensive positioning. And other than that, as you probably expect after my 24k signing, we're 26 grand in debt. Uh, look at that sharp decline there. Nothing to worry about yet. So, thanks for watching. Pretty short video, but uh, see you soon. Peace!